You're listening to Radio Tutti. This is the Radio Tutti Coronavirus Update. Tuesday, 29 June 2021. Welcome to Tutti Radio Coronavirus Update. Excellent. So today we've got in the studio... Megan... Dougie, Finn Ryan Bond, and a good old James. <laughs> and uh, coming by satellite or by Zoom, uh, Mikey Arzni. Excellent. My name's Matt. So we're going to be doing a bit of a coronavirus update because there have been some new restrictions that have come in overnight. So this is Damn as. Deal. <laughs> so this is as of the 29th of June, 2021. We are recording this. So. Let's just get underway. We will start first of all with Megan. Um, so you had a question about um, capacity at weddings? Yes. How many people are we allowed at weddings? Yes. And do you remember do you remember what the number was? Mats um, of hundred and yeah, correct. So 150 people allowed at weddings and also at funerals. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that is currently where it's at. So if you've got a wedding or a funeral planned this weekend. A friend um, has. Yeah. Who's ever dead has to wear marks too. <laughs> what was that? Whoever's dead has, has to wear marks too. <laughs> Do the dead have to wear masks as well? What a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> Poor not. Maybe they're, 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 they're dead too. They yeah. can't wear one. <laughs> Yeah, but the food gems. We've already body. gone so off topic, but this is great. Um, all right, so maximum at um, at weddings and funerals, one hundred and fifty people. Excellent, thank you. Now, Finn, you had a question about. Yes, I did. Um, how many people are you allowed at your house? Excellent. And do you remember what the number is? It's at four hundred. So it's fifty. Yep, so you're allowed 50 people at your house without any plan or anything. So you could be, tomorrow, I want to have a party and I want to invite my closest 50 friends. Mm. You would just be able to do that. Um, but if more than 50 people come... You have to have a, a COVID-19 COVID check-in point. Exactly. You need to have a COVID safe plan and you need to have a COVID marshal. So that's yeah. 50 to 150 people. If you're planning yeah. on having a big blowout party at your house with 150 people, you've got to have a COVID marshal. Yeah. Um, but you can't have more than 150 people. So I don't know who's going to be having a party of 150 people, but that's the case. Yeah. But one thing about that, if they find out through Facebook, there's a lot of gate crashes. Yeah, there. it's true. You've got to be careful putting, oh, putting party oh. details on Facebook because you might, you might get... have some yeah. p- party mm. people might come in and crash a party. Yeah, it's true, it's that. true. So, if you're going to crash someone's party, make sure you check in. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> and you know... And not just walk out and walk in really yeah. <laughs> The other day, I tracked into Natalie's birthday... Oh, yeah? <laughs> I did. Oh, no. A trash in her party. Oh, that's no good. You always want to be invited to a party. They invited I'll me. Say. They yeah. did invite me. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you're invited, then it's not really crashing. Yeah, the hey. funny thing is that, um, uh, you know, during my trip to the Gold Coast, um, I thought I'm going to have to use use that QR code uh, to mm. QR everything. But most of the things, uh, like like in the theme parks and um, and probably the airport, they mm. don't really have much things to QR code code for and interesting um, it's kind of odd yeah i think it's because they're kind of new to this thing yeah okay i also found when i went to tasmania recently um i i tried to check in with my um sa government app but um it didn't work and so i had to download this tasmanian government app to use all the qr codes that were that Mm. were based around there so Mm. that was interesting all right we'll move on to dougie dougie can you sing no no singing Except in two circumstances. What are they? One, you're in a community, around the community. Nope. That's not... Uh, so you can sing if you are... You can sing if you're in a band. Yes. So if you're performing, you can sing. If you're... If you're... Um, 
No karaoke. No karaoke, yes. So that kind of community setting, you no. can't sing in. No. But what about community choirs? No. Nope, no community no. choirs. No. But you can sing if it's... Well, there's one more setting where you can sing. If you, if you have... If you're in a community. So, uh, so if it was a school or maybe somewhere like Tutti, yeah, what kind can. of setting's that? A community. Well, like an educational setting. An educational setting. Yeah, there so we go. So Tutti Choir's sworn or cancelled? So Tutti Choir's not going to be on this week? No. no. Yeah. No. Because of the school holidays. Yeah. But, um, oh, school holidays. Yeah, but you can go to, you can go to um, gigs. Yeah. If, if it's not full, you don't have to wear masks. Is that right? Um, I think I think it's close. Um, we will get to mass in a second, but um, so with singing, so yes, you can sing if you're performing or if it's in an educational setting. Yeah. Um, but any other circumstances no. isn't really allowed. I've no. got some quotes here. This one's from Stephen Marshall. Uh, quote. With regards to singing, we are going to put restrictions in place for a week. We are not going to put restrictions in place for the performance themselves or no. if they are singing as part of an educational facility. But for other instances, we will be banning singing. And um, the SA Police Commissioner Grant Stevens said um, there would be a reasonableness test uh, for restrictions on singing at public gatherings. Mm. Um, so the bans are specifically for organised singing. So we're talking about choirs and karaoke, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. Mm. But, um, and the restrictions will be in, until one week, until at least next Monday. Exactly. So that was your other piece of information. So the restrictions are one week. Until um, next Monday. So, and what's, what's the date of next Monday? Until the 5th of July. Excellent. Well, it should be ordered by the 5th of July. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully 5th of July. Hopefully before Christmas comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully before. Yeah. Well, mm. um, when's, when's um, Christmas in July? That's, mm. I guess that'll be the 25th of July. Yeah. So hopefully by Christmas in July. Yeah. All right, James, clubs and pubs, can you go to them? Um, you can go to the cinema, but you already know about this one. You have to stand um, at the... Not sit too close to somebody. To exactly. Like, so, how many people per how many square meters? Two square meters. Two square meters. Yeah. Two square meters. So one person per two square meters. I think at the beginning of the pandemic, it was one person per per four square meters. Yeah, but so it's, more, it's, it's more. Yeah. So it's 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 still you, it's still all right as far as the amount of people that can fit in a space. Our current studio, I can see in the corner of the room, the the maximum capacity of people in this area is forty four. Can you imagine 44 people in this room? Oh, God. <laughs> it would be pretty Big crammed. Time. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So restrictions aren't too bad at the moment. No. But... I've never seen 44 in here. Yeah, neither have I. This is uh, the small performing arts room for anybody that's uh, thinking about it. Um, but physical distancing and social distancing principles apply, so nice. everyone should attempt to stay at least 1.5 metres away from members in the public. Now, do you need to wear your mask at a cinema? Yes. Well, if it too much crowd in there, right? Exactly. So the current um, oh. advice is that for yeah. cinemas, theatres and concert halls, uh, if capacity is above 50%, then everyone needs to wear masks. Yeah. And also going to an arcade, make sure you clean the control panel before Exactly. Next one. So, yes. yeah, if you're going to an arcade, they would no doubt have a COVID marshal that would be making sure everything's remaining clean. Mm. Um, also, you know, um, it's funny that... Um, it, it kind of explains why uh, movie studios are, are trying to go for a bit of a, a emergency backup that if they can't get some money from, from the films and the, and the theaters, then they could just uh, probably get some by letting the viewers watch it digitally on their apps, like on streaming services like um, Disney Plus or um, Netflix. Absolutely. So there's certainly been a uh, increase in the amount of people using streaming services over COVID, I'm sure. Yeah, and, uh, I don't go to them that often. They're you no, don't stream very often? Nothing on. Just, just all VPDs. <laughs> Who else? Did, does anybody here stream? No. I, I saw Luca last night. Oh, yeah? Was it yeah, good? I saw that. What about you, it Megan? It was really great. It felt like, um, it felt like one of those uh, Studio Ghibli films. Oh, yeah. Like, Love Studio Ghibli. I saw that movie. Megan, yep. um, uh, do you do watch much streaming services? Um, I need... On weekends. Weekends, watch a bit of Netflix or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 What about you, Finn? Do you stream? Mm, not really. Not really. I was watching um, Dragon Race the other day. Oh yeah. 
Dragon Wish. Dragon Wrist? Jack Dragon. I think you mean Wish Dragon. Wish Dragon. Ah, oh, Wish Dragon. Gotcha. Cool. Good show? Yeah. Nice. All right, let's power on. Um, so, any of you shisha smokers out there? No. No shisha for no, a week, smoke. unfortunately. No. No. I smoke uh, candy. You can smoke if you can keep the thing to yourself. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, Smoking candy, that better. James, <laughs> can you eat at a buffet? Um, you can, but you can't say the same food. No, yeah, so buffets are out. So anything, any no. communal food. So well, if you're Charlie going to the Pizza Hut... All you can eat buffet. Charlie's oh. Diner. No. Charlie's the, Diner. The all of these things, not, not on for a week. Um, uh, so yeah. any communal consumption is not on. Um, and can you stand and drink? Uh, no, you, no, you have to sit. You, you got to sit. Up. All right. Hey, Mike, you've uh. got an update for us on the numbers in all the different <laughs> states? Oh, yes, I, I certainly have. Uh, for those of you who know um, that... Uh, what, where have there been many outbreaks over the last uh, seven days? Well, as of this recording, uh, so far, South Australia and Tasmania is lucky that there hasn't been any outbreaks. Uh, Western Australia only has uh, one so far. Victoria is, has a bit more with uh, four. Queensland has, uh, has uh, ten. Northern Terrace has uh, five. And uh, the one that has the most outbreaks is New South Wales with 122. And um, this is really kind of a, and it was a good thing I just came back from my uh, trip to the Gold, trip at the Gold Coast because um, with the cases of 10, I was a little bit concerned I might have get it, get it, but uh, thankfully it wasn't. Mind you, um, if there were one thing I have to say that the trip that really gave me a bit of a problem is that having to wear that mask throughout the entire flight, and uh, it was really hard. It was really hard to breathe the thin when you're on the when you're in the high, highest uh, skies. But wearing that mask on makes it really enhance the um, the, the the difficulty to breathe. Mm, yeah, I agree. I had to I had to fly back from Tassie recently, and um, in all the airports and on all the planes, you have to be wearing masks the whole time, unless you're eating, and then you can take it off. But um, certainly after a couple of hours, it starts to feel a bit hard to breathe with that mask on. But Makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. So if you're on public transport, masks are strongly encouraged, but I don't think they're mandatory at this no. point. I think also with uh, taxis and Uber. Yep. So these, these things. Yeah. Mass wear. Yes. So, so, so I did right. see something about Uber. I'm just going to... Um, so Finn is displaying his mask now for all of our radio listeners to hear. Um, let us just quickly... I saw something before on Ubers and taxis. So again, masks are strongly encouraged for people travelling on public transport or in a taxi slash Uber. So you don't have to, but it's strongly encouraged. So we would like to strongly encourage everybody to do so as well. Alrighty, um, Megan, you had an update on bowling. Um, yes, I can't bowl for three weeks till further notice. All right, so this is the Special Olympics bowling team. Yeah, out for three weeks. All right, um, Finn, can you go to gigs? Yes, you can. You have to be seated, though. You can't yes. stand up or dance or sing. No dancing, no singing. You must be seated. And I've got a quote here from uh, the Same. manager of the Hotel Metropolitan. Um, so they have said, we will probably be cancelling our live music program for at least this weekend because it's not viable in a sit-down situation and at least 50% capacity, he said. So it sounds like there, even though gigs can go ahead, there will be some gigs that are cancelled just because yeah. it doesn't make sense. It's not viable for them to run. So, mm. for example... Yeah. Say the Sisters of Invention, they can still sing a fundraiser. Yeah, exactly. So the Sisters of Invention would still be able to perform. Um, so if this had happened last week during the Cabaret Festival, they still would have been able to do their Cabaret performance. But, um, 
Uh, for those of you that were there, did you have to wear masks when no. you were there? No. No, you didn't. Well, so that might have been one of the main differences is that if it was running this week, everyone would have had to wear masks. Mm, you would have to. Um, but no, they would have still been able to perform. Yeah. And there's another thing you have to do. Well, well it's quite to do all the time. Mm. Eh, sorry. My, my, um, is hand sanitizers. Yeah, so we, we all know... Good, good hygiene measures. So making sure you wash your hands when you go to the bathroom, hand sanitizer when you come into a new space. Um, for us, things like washing down microphones and things like that will be important. Um, what are some other good uh, sanitary things that we can do, Dougie? No touching your hair. Oh yeah, touching face is 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 a good um, yeah. way of spreading things. So try not to touch your face. Anybody else got any other things? Um. Make sure keeps uh, one point. 1.5 metres, yeah. Yeah. So about <laughs> no a bit hug. longer than that. No, 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 no. no, no. no 1.5 metres. So, uh, Finn, you're currently showing the size of, of a small prawn. It's probably closer <laughs> to the length of your arms outstretched, maybe even a little bit longer. So no, 1.5 no. metres is a fair distance. No, um, no, no, no. Hello, no. where? Hello, hello. Or oh. if you, what, what if you're with your girlfriend and all that though? So um, no. if it's uh, partners, especially people that you live with, um, no. let me just have a, I don't want to get this wrong. I think I saw something. So um, physical distancing or sh- social distancing principles apply. Every person should attempt to stay at least 1.5 metres from other members of the public. However, this does not apply to people who live together who are friends or family members or people who regularly associate with each other. Boy, so like for those that you do regularly associate with, like girlfriends and things like that, yeah, you don't no. necessarily have so to stay 1.5 metres. Yeah. Or, or the people who, who, who you haven't been with for, for a long time. Exactly, been, exactly. Oh, yeah. But I would assume as a, as a general rule here at Tutti, we will be probably enforcing yeah. the 1.5 metres just no, because yeah. that's... Yeah. Are uh, going to be so, important for so, us to so, keep so, that up. So, so it's different if, you, if you're at their, at their house. Like yeah, exactly, different. exactly. Yeah. You won't necessarily have to do that. But no. obviously, I know some of you live in um, housing mm. situations mean, and yeah, they may have their own too. rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they may have their own rules. Um, ABL said no hugging. Yeah. To me yeah. and Catherine, but she's annoyed by it. But <laughs> that's just her. Just Excellent. Annoying. Well, that's about. Uh, that was all the things that we prepared. Does anybody else have anything that so they want to add to this coronavirus update? No smoking either. <laughs> and don't you, well, no happen. smoking shishas. If you uh, do, there's to be no smoking of in. There'll be never a smoking <laughs> good anyway. Well, some people like to fang it out. What? So um, what? No hugging. Oh, no yeah. hugging. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that yeah. that the. The Ooh, restrictions on touching can be hard for a lot of people. Yes, yeah. Megan. Yeah. Megan. Well, yeah. I know one. Well, I know one thing. Yeah. Uh, keep your distance. I keep think. your distance. All yeah, right, Megan. Fun. You had something you wanted to say. I got one where where they're not canteen. Ah. We be oh, open. here on Friday. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. You want to ask. Yeah. I think I think I can't see any reason why it shouldn't, but um, but so stay please. tuned for that because you know it's like restaurants can still yeah. remain open and, mm. and things like that. So there's certainly Ask you tomorrow. know Should yeah exactly. I mean as long as tomorrow, as long tomorrow. as a food place is doing proper hygiene, then there's no or, reason why they, they shouldn't be open. But I guess that'll be up to tomorrow. And and and, 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 and Matthew because Matthew works in the canteen and, as well, and, right. and, mm. and, and no sharing food either. Exactly, no sharing food. So that's one thing that the um, that the guidelines have stated is no no communal eating no. kind of things. No, so, uh, there no. won't be a big finger food no. sausage roll platter for us all to share from. No, <laughs> no. no. Uh. All right. Well, is that everything? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, so. should we sign off? Yeah. 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 What station we be listening to? Radio, Radio. 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 today. today. Listening to Radio Toddy, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thank you for listening. This has been our coronavirus update for the 29th of June, 2021. So good luck, and we all hope you survive this week of restrictions. (laughs) Yeah, good to hear (laughs) COVID-19. Adios. Bye-bye. You're listening to Radio Toddy.
This is the Radio 2D Coronavirus Update. Tuesday, 29 June 2021.